One day during lunch break, it happened suddenly. May, there's someone here to see you. A fellow nurse came to inform me, looking at me with an indescribable gaze. What could it be? As I stepped into the hallway, a girl about 10 years old was standing there, clearly of Asian descent. She looked straight at me and asked to me, Are you my mom? I was so startled that I dropped the wrapping of my lunchbox. What? My name is May, 32 years old. I used to be part of a medical team deployed overseas. Now I work in the internal medicine department at Central Hospital. The girl's name is Smy. She introduced herself as nine years old, slender with big eyes, a cute girl. She came all the way from Cambodia to America to meet her biological mother. Why did you abandon me? Smy looked at me with tears in her eyes. Um, she's definitely talking to me, right? I turned pale and frantically waved my hands to deny it. Wait, I'm not your mom. The girl insisted strongly. Lies, my mom's name is May. She worked at a hospital in Cambodia from 2013 to 2014. You were the only May in that international medical team. I was amazed at her fluent English. But I'm not even married, let alone have given birth. As I was completely at a loss, my colleague Holly came over. Your shift ended a while ago. Her voice was cold. I never liked her. She's competent and a good instructor, but her personality is harsh. I'll be right there. I hurriedly picked up my lunchbox and tried to shake off Smy. May, Mom. Smy grabbed my arm. If someone saw us here, they would definitely misunderstand. In a panic, I looked around. Luckily, Holly was sitting at the back with her back turned to us. No other nurses were around. I took Smy and left the break room. I'm working right now. I'll listen to you, but wait at that store over there. I pointed to the fast food restaurant across the street. Smy shook her head. She seemed worried I might escape. Then, stay in the hospital lobby. With that, Smy nodded. My shift tends at 4 p.m. today. During the afternoon work hours, I was distracted. How did such a misunderstanding arise? Anyway, Smy's mother was in the medical team 10 years ago, and she used my name instead of her own. Why? What does this mean? I couldn't understand, but anger was rising not only leaving a child behind but teaching her a false name. After work, I listened to the story from Smy again. When our team was in Phnom Penh, the capital, in 2013, a man named Noi was brought in with a respiratory illness and hospitalized. He quickly became popular among the team. Because Noi was a big fan of America and spoke the language well, it turned out Noi was Smy's father. Noi was a friendly young man, so I remembered he treated everyone equally. He even took me to some delicious food stalls. So, he fell in love with the American nurse. What happened to your dad? At nine years old, she came to America alone, I wondered. Then Smite whisked her face. My dad got sicker and went to heaven three months ago. Tears fell from her big eyes. I see. My voice choked up. This time, her grandmother came with her. Dad said to live with mom. For that, Noi had been saving money. He also taught her the language so she wouldn't struggle in America. I haven't decided whether to live with mom yet. I just want to know why she abandoned us. I thought she was a very sensible child. I handed Smy a handkerchief. I inadvertently dabbed my own eyes with a handkerchief. Smy means light in Cambodian but I can't see any light now. I pondered. Then Smy peered into my face. Mom, why? It seemed she still thought I was her mother. I wondered what to do. First, I went to visit the cheap lodging where Smy's grandmother was. Unfortunately, I've never met Noy's lover. She looked at me with hopeful eyes. I am not her mother. But the look in her eyes was one of doubt. I led them to my home. From a drawer at home, 
I took out old work schedules. It was good that I always kept things organized. I couldn't work around the time of childbirth. But I did not take any long breaks in 2013 or 2014. After checking the documents over and over, Smy finally understood. Then, who is my mother? Where is she? Tears welled up in her eyes again. He pained my heart. After crying for a while, Smy grabbed my arm seriously. There must be another May. I didn't know about that. But I couldn't leave a girl at a loss who came to a foreign country. I thought this must be some kind of fate. You can stay at my place for a while. I'll help you look for your mom. That, Smy widened her red swollen eyes. Is that okay? Because there's definitely a mom in the team, right? I can help. Smy squeezed my hand tightly. Her grandmother also cried, scrunching up her wrinkled face. Thank you. Just like my dad said, the American are kind. He was sure they would help. I felt conflicted. The kind American mother had left you and your father behind. What was Noi thinking when he said this? Did he really believe in Smy's mother? The next day I went to work and checked the team roster immediately. The doctors and nurses are still working at this general hospital, but at the time, a large number were deployed. Because of that, it was hard to investigate. September 2013 A major flood occurred in the Mekong River Basin, including the capital, Phnom Penh. Over 130 people died. The hospital was also affected, and we rushed to help. At that time, I was 21 years old. Just graduated from nursing school and became a registered nurse. I flew to the disaster area, filled with passion. I'm sure my colleagues felt the same way. Looking back on those events about 10 years ago, I recalled various memories. My hand stopped while looking at a photo taken in front of a temporary clinic. Come to think of it, I had been working with Holly for 10 years. But somehow, Holly was not in this photo. I dig through my memories. Right. She was hospitalized. She must have been a viral hepatitis from contaminated water. She had to leave the disaster area temporarily and was taken to a hospital in Sihanoukville, a safe tourist destination. It was a long hospital stay. There was a discussion about visiting her once. But for some reason, the head nurse strongly opposed it, and the plan fizzled out. Could Holly be Smy's mother? She was in charge of Noi and fell in love. The two nurtured their love and had a child, but the pregnancy was kept secret. And then the birth. After that, something happened between Holly and Noi, and she left everything and returned to America. No, Holly? She has a tough personality, but it's hard to imagine she would abandon her child. If that's the case, there must have been some reason. But I don't think she would answer if I asked her directly. After all, she just got married last year. The person I was dealing with was Dr. Jin at our hospital. That day, when I got home, I shook my head and said, I'm sorry. It was hard to see Smy disappointed. Documents from 10 years ago are just too old to find. I was uncertain whether to ask Holly. If it turned out to be unrelated, she might get angry over being wrongly suspected. Moreover, my dislike for her had grown since she married a doctor. The girl's grandmother looked dejected, but eventually she seemed to give up and thank me. We'll be leaving. I'll live with my granddaughter from now on. The girl shook her head and convinced. The next evening, the two of them were set to leave America. I spent a sleepless night. From the next room, I could hear whispers, including some that sounded like sobbing, which made me feel a bit guilty. Maybe I had a clue. The next day, we left the house together. Thank you for your kindness. Smy bowed politely with her grandmother. I'm sorry I couldn't do more. The grandmother and granddaughter smiled kindly. It made my heart ache again. It must have cost a lot of money for them to come to America. And yet, they left empty-handed. They must be feeling incredibly frustrated. I went to work feeling like I was being pulled back. You don't look well. Startled, I looked up. There stood Holly. I had been working with Holly for many years, 
but it was the first time she showed concern for my health. Don't fall ill, May. Take care of yourself, too. Seeing my surprised face, Holly showed a slightly embarrassed expression. You must be wondering why I'm suddenly saying things I never said before. I nodded instinctively. She sat down in the empty seat next to me and sighed softly. I became the nurse I dreamed of and married Dr. Jin. I've been running non-stop. I nodded again, agreeing. I might appear to be a success on the surface, but lately I've felt a bit tired. I unexpected Holly expressing her vulnerabilities especially to someone she isn't particularly close to. No, that's not right. Holly doesn't really have close friends. She's always been serious and tense at work. That's why we thought she was hard to approach. I've been acting like a lone wolf, but I've realized I should really be cooperating with my colleagues. My husband pointed that out too. I see. But since I've always acted like I didn't need anyone's help, I wonder if everyone will accept me now. Holly gave a wry smile. I leaned in eagerly to listen. I thought it was a good time to ask her about that thing now, and even if I was wrong, she might just let it slide. Um, do you remember a man named Noi we met in Cambodia 10 years ago? Eh? Holly's complexion visibly changed. What, all of a sudden? Holly stumbled over her words. Could it be a bingo? His child came to our hospital yesterday. She's looking for her mother. The file Holly was holding dropped to the floor with a loud thump. Her face changed rapidly. Noi has passed away, and apparently, he told his daughter to live with her mother in America. He's dead. Noi, that can't be. At that moment, I felt sure of it, and a rush of emotion overwhelmed me. I confronted Holly. Why did you use my name? That's awful. Did you deceive Noi? Holly looked confused. I continued regardless. You claim to be May, right? That's why Smy came to me. Ah, uh, oh right. You were named May. I forgot. What? Forgot what? More importantly, where is the daughter? Where is Smy? What does she mean by more importantly? This isn't the time to be saying things like this. Come with me right now. Eh, where? I'm on duty. This isn't the time for that. What do you mean this isn't the time? We have to go now or Smy will leave. Wait, wait. If we're going somewhere, I need to ask someone else to take care of my patients. That brought me back to my senses. Indeed, that's Holly for you. She quickly gave instructions to the other staff and then Holly and I headed outside. We hailed a taxi in our nurse uniforms, and I pushed Holly in, and climbed in myself. During the ride, Holly explained to me. At that time, Holly didn't know my first name was May. So, it seemed she didn't use the name May out of malice. Ten years ago, Holly had met Noi and fallen in love. They quickly became committed to a future together. Eventually, it turned out she was pregnant. Indeed, the reason she was hospitalized in Sihanoukville was maternity-related. Her belly wasn't noticeable, so she worked as usual. Then she faced the threat of premature labor. She only explained the situation to the head nurse who agreed to help. My daughter was born premature, but she was truly adorable. Holly was discharged, but Smy needed to stay in the hospital longer. Holly was happy, but at the same time, she faced a significant problem. Her mother belonged to an old, respected family in the countryside. In a family that valued status, her father had been a son-in-law. Her mother expected her daughter's partner to be a respectable man from a good family. Marrying a foreigner and having given birth before marriage, it was clear she would be labeled as disgraceful. Still, she thought she could convince her mother for the sake of her beloved family. Then suddenly, she received news that her mother had fallen ill. Holly rushed back to America. I promised Nye I would return, telling my parents about Nye and that I would live in Cambodia from now on before coming back. However, the reality that awaited Holly at her family home was harsh. Her mother's condition was severe and she needed care. Moreover, she firmly refused help from any daughters-in-law. Holly, 
being the middle child among three siblings, had brothers whose wives were there. Holly panicked. She wanted to return to Cambodia where Noi and her daughter were waiting. Or at least, she wanted to make contact somehow. She opened up about the situation while observing. Her mother was furious upon hearing about Noi and the child. Her siblings frowned, a Cambodian? Her smartphone was taken, and all contacts were deleted. Stop! Infatuated with a foreign man. Her mother's anger was intense. I will decide whom you marry. Her mother was a strong old woman who wouldn't be satisfied unless things went her way. That's why her father had left. It was over ten years ago. Holly was in shock as she began to care for her mother. Just when she thought she'd be her mother's puppet forever? Her mother died of a heart attack. It was on a very cold winter morning. Holly left her family home. But by then, there was no way to contact Noi. She returned to the hospital and continued working. At the same time, she visited Cambodia every chance she got, but she could not find any trace of Noi and the others. It seemed that premature Smai had frequent health issues and had been moving from hospital to hospital, and there were no clear records of her last location. I've been looking for them all this time. I can't believe that she would come to see me. That's what happened. She covered her eyes with a handkerchief and bowed apologetically. As a child, I was always told by my mother, Holly, do this. Holly, that's not allowed. I grew to dislike being called by my own name. Saying this, Holly seemed to remember something. When I was a child, I watched a drama that the heroine May always did what she wanted freely. I envied that and came to admire the name May. Oh, that's why. I was happy when Nai called me May. Holly's daughter, she has grown into a wonderful young lady. Holly's tears began to flow. While we were talking, we arrived at airport. I was the one who had bought the tickets. I rushed to the check-in. Smy. I shouted towards two people sitting on the sofa. She is your mom. Smy stood up. Her eyes oscillated between surprise and joy. But still, the girl was too anxious to move. I've never forgotten about you and Nye, not for a single day. Holly shouted. I've wanted to see you for so long. I've been searching for so long. At these words, the girl threw herself into Holly's arms. I wanted to see you. I really wanted to see you. My, Smy. Holly hugged her daughter while crying. Smy buried her face in her mother's chest relentlessly. I'm so glad I made it in time. I sighed with relief. The grandmother bowed to me with tears streaming down her face. Mom. Smy looked up at Holly with a tearful smile. Holly slowly stroked her daughter's hair. She looks just like Noi. Smy deeply mourned the tragic love of her parents. And she was happy to know how much Holly had loved them. Dr. Jin already knew about Holly's situation. He had married her knowing all this. He was very happy that Smy was found. Thus, the Cambodian girl and her grandmother would stay in America for a while longer. Holly told me with puffy eyes, yet joyfully. Lately I've been crying all the time. Since then. I realized we had started talking more. Things were changing for the better. Dr. Jin was impressed by Smy's intelligence, and the girl grew fond of him. I'll make her happy for all the hardship she's endured. Holly murmured deeply. I'm sure she'll keep that promise. This incident made me love my own name more than before. Thanks to this name, I witnessed such a beautiful moment. I felt like I received a share of their happiness. Someday, I might get married and have children. Like Holly, I always think of children. I hope I can be a wonderful mother too. Well, I haven't told Holly that yet.